Smartphones revolutionised the way that we capture photos and videos. By always being in our pockets, they allowed us to capture important moments wherever we were. Now, with Rico Live Switcher and Rico Live Multicam, you can take that one step further and use all of your iOS devices together to capture and broadcast an event as if you were in a television studio. Here we have two iPhones, capturing Adam who's going to prepare some food for us. We also have a laptop which could show a PowerPoint or Keynote for example, and this could be included in the final video. Rico Live offers two apps that allow you to use an iPhone or an iPad as a video mixer. Additional iOS devices can be used as more cameras. Rico Live Multicam is for HD recording, while Switcher is for live streaming. Multicam is perfect if you want to capture high quality footage and share the video afterwards. Switcher is great for live events and works with streaming services such as Ustream.tv. For more information on streaming, see tutorial number 4. I'm first going to launch Multicam on the iPad. The same app is running on each of the iPhones. In the bottom left section you'll see all of the cameras available to Multicam. When you first launch the app you'll see the device's built-in camera. In the bottom right section you'll see a list of available cameras, this includes the built-in camera and other iOS devices running Switcher or Multicam on the same Wi-Fi network. You can switch the built-in camera between the rear-facing camera and the front-facing camera by tapping the camera icon to the right of the camera name. Connecting two other cameras is easy, simply tap one of the devices in the list. A confirmation message will appear on the iPhone that you're trying to connect to. Tap Allow to give the iPad permission. Select Allow automatically to skip this prompt in the future. Once all of the cameras have been connected, tap on one of the video sources to see a preview in the top left. In the preview pane, you can tap to focus on a specific area of the image. By default, this will also automatically correct the exposure and white balance of the camera. This behaviour can be customised. See tutorial 2 for more information. By using RicoLive Capture on a Mac computer, RicoLive Switcher and RicoLive Multicam can use either the computer's webcam or a screen capture of the computer's desktop as a video source. Open the app on the computer, make sure that it's on the same Wi-Fi network, and tap the appropriate device in the camera list. RicoLive Multicam and RicoLive Switcher integrate seamlessly with Motor Galileo. If an iPhone is mounted on a Galileo, you can drag around in the preview pane to control the Galileo and move the camera. This will be covered in more detail in tutorial number 5. The final section of the interface is the live output. This is what you are recording or streaming to your viewers. To push what you see in the preview pane to the live output, tap the preview to live button. You'll see the live video transition to the video that was queued over here in the preview pane. This transition can be changed, see tutorial 2 for the details. A small live label is placed next to the video source currently being used. A similar label appears on the iPhone in use as well. You can also control the light on the back of the iPhone, and even use it as a tally light to tell the people in front of the camera when that camera is live. Double tapping on a video source will make it go live immediately. To record in Multicam or to record and broadcast in Switcher, hit the record button or the record and broadcast button. If you select two or more video sources, you can choose from a variety of multi-view effects. All come with appropriate transitions in and out of the effects. There are a variety of multi-view effects to choose from, including dashboard, flap, slots, and picture-in-picture. -picture. All are configurable, and more details can be found in Tutorial 2. The buttons along the bottom right section of the app's interface allow you to change tabs between the camera list, the output settings, the transition and effects tab, the camera control tab and the audio tab where you'll find audio levels of the connected cameras. See tutorial 3 for more information on this tab. The controls and features in these tabs will give you full control over the live event. In tutorial number 2 we'll take a look at how to get better results from the video including how to manage white balance, autofocus, transitions and other effects. In the third tutorial we'll look at the audio tab and explain how to connect an external mixer. In tutorial 4 we'll cover the output panel including how to stream live video to an audience and in the final tutorial we'll have a closer look at the Motor Galileo integration. We hope that you enjoy using Rico Live Multicam and Rico Live Switcher and we encourage you to watch more of these videos so that you can get the most out of the apps and improve your talent as a television director. Thanks for watching.